The world today was dominated by the news about another eruption from the Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland. Over the past several months, we had this situation. It was a bang in the darkness, two minutes past six. And followed by that, we had a fissure opening up. This was the crust of the earth cracked and letting the magma rise into the surface from a depth of 10, 5, and then 0. This is where mid-Atlantic reach reaches the surface, exposed under the air, dry, and erupts. Usually it's at the bottom of the ocean, 5 kilometers deep. Now we are lucky, we are seeing it. And this is what we saw. A gentle line of the light in the horizon. When you get closer to that, you will see that this is a fire. Nothing gentle with that. This is a basalt, molten rock coming from the mantle part of the earth. It's the most pristine material born in our planet today. And it was erupting in front of our eyes. That area is saturated with rain over the millennia. The water level is high. Aquifers in that area in the past were used to generate electricity. And this time, when the magma came in contact directly with it, we had the explosions and the rising of the white cloud from that center. This is the fissure you can see. And to the right, left of it, you can see actually the eruption is continuing. Where it comes in contact with the water, you can see that it is black smoke, lower part of it. That is a material shattered by the explosion. When it comes, magma comes with contact with the water. Like Hunga Tonga, the biggest eruption we have seen in the history of the humanity, probably. And this eruption created the uh, what we call a slag, bigger pieces of the ash, we can call them, which reached four kilometers away in the town of the Grindavik. We were able to sample it. These are practically pieces of vesiculated, means bubbled lava, basalt. I have several videos about when the lava reaches the sea or in contact, it comes in contact with the water, what happens. Watch them, please. All about Honga Tonga volcano, tsunami, and shockwave. It was as if that we are looking at the planet Jupiter with a spacecraft. Suddenly we saw a plume of a bright eruption as the Earth Terminator, Shadow Terminator, passed over the Pacific Ocean, southern parts of it. Then, when you look at it carefully, you see this. A huge cloud of ash rising from the sea. Different images you can see. It. Of course, in the original image, you didn't even need to magnify it. It was just there. You could easily pick it up. And the night falls on it. That's from another angle, from another satellite. Our seismograms are able to pick it up in the Alaska. And the shockwave was heard also. And as you can see, this is what we saw. We had an eruption, we had lightning even, a huge ash cloud, and 500 kilometers away, this. And after a few hours, this. The whole sea pushing forward on land. This is not a wave, this is tsunami, a Japanese term that is used for this kind of earthquake induced or shockwave induced uh, uh, waves coming to land. This will not stop, they will come several times and they can spread everywhere. These guys, if they were any other color, for example white, they would have been called daredevil brave people. But now we look at it and we see, oh, they're stupid. <laughs> yeah. 
But they did this for us. You can see the tsunami, the effect of the tsunami on them. I hope they're all right. I see some of them actually standing up again. They are yet brave enough and holding the camera up. So anyway, because of them, we have this view. I'm not sure this is from yesterday. And you can see the middle of the island is now missing from the January 2021 now yesterday. That is the very dramatic development in the volcano world. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Now two months has passed. Volcano has not just stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary. Like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally. Now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is the flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered, actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the a uh, headland created by these lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the or King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones you can see that they are created layered lava as cliff that we see. It's apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon.